We have at IU Health and Indiana University been at the forefront of arrhythmias and arrhythmia research, arrhythmia treatment for the last 50 years, going back into the 1960s or so. It's a very exciting field to be in. And all this has been collaborative between our institution and many other institutions, between basic scientists, clinical scientists, and practitioners taking care of folks in the trenches. Hello, how are you today? We have three major principles here. One is inspiration that gives us new ideas, innovation that translate those into new therapies and new diagnostics, and individuality which we, by which we treat each individual as though they're the only person who has this disorder. Here at IU Health we, like many other institutions, uh, approach disease from basic science, uh, research, from clinical science, taking care of patients, and from an educational perspective. Here at the Cranial Institute of Cardiology, we have both basic and clinical research, as well as translational research. We have uh, several research laboratories focused on genetics and genetic basis of heart disease, as well as cardiac arrhythmia. And uh, uh, there is a laboratory studying um, the uh, ionic channels as well as uh, neural mechanisms of heart disease. And the clinical research we uh, expand uh, in uh, various areas, specifically in permanent hip bundle pacing, in castor ablation, and uh, pacemaker lead extraction. So these are areas that we have uh, uh, constantly been contributing to the literature and uh, to the advancement of uh, cardiac arrhythmia care. I really work as the bridge between the inpatient and the outpatient world. Um, my job is to um, marry the physician's inpatient and outpatient schedule. In the cardiac electrophysiology lab, we routinely perform catheter ablation as well as cryoablation of atrial fibrillation. We also perform hybrid ablation with uh, surgeons. We also have patients who undergo endocardial as well as epicardial ablations as well as intraoperative ablations. We foster great multidisciplinary care and pull in all the specialties to give the best patient care possible. Here at IU Health, we have treated some really unusual situations. We've had people who have been consigned to hospice because their rhythm disturbance was just not addressable by their doctors. Uh, so can we just get, give us an hour or two? see what we can do for them, and then they go home and see their grandson graduate from high school. Uh, it's, it's a life-changing thing for many of these people. This is a comprehensive, well-structured place uh, and a wonderful place to learn EP. We feel very strongly that the, the people who are going to be taking care of us and our relatives in coming years need to be very well prepared. The priority of education is, is undeniable. I think that's probably the most important thing. Uh, starting from case conferences, literally every day, starting every morning with case conference, uh, or interesting tracings or didactics, a, a journal club, every day we're starting with, uh, with education being priority. So we have the basic science that leads to innovation, that leads to individualization of therapy, and the investment that we make in both our patients and in our trainees to uh, give the very best uh, of what we've got.